Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next uh, algorithm in the physical clock synchronization is a Berkeley algorithm. Okay, so in the previous videos I explained what is an UTC algorithm and the Christianius algorithm. Now let's see the Berkeley algorithm with an example. In the Berkeley algorithm, the server polls each machine periodically and asking it for the time. So what here, uh, what is the technique that it is following to maintain the uh, systems in the distributed environment same okay so let's take this is a server the server is asking all the systems that is the clients let us take different system the server is polls each machine periodically asking it for what is your system time mine is three o'clock and what is yours mine is three o'clock what is yours mine is three o'clock and what is yours like that so based on the answers it computes an average time so based on the reply that are given by each system based on the reply is given by the each system it computes an average time and tells all other machines to advance their clocks to the new time or slow their clocks down until some specific reduction has been achieved did you understand this it's a very interesting one so here this system is there this system is asking for your what is your time and this server is asking this system what is your time so it's saying minus three o'clock it's saying minus three o'clock suppose this is replying with minus 310 and it is saying minus 250 so whenever it receives a reply now what the server role the server is saying that okay just compute the average time and tells all other machines to advance their clocks so it is telling to this machine to advance a clock because mine is 3 but yours is 250 so just add 10 and make your system as a 3 or it is asking this system slow their clock down yours is 310 mine is only 3 so just slow down your system so it is say, saying if it is more more means slow down the system slow down clock less means advance clock advance clock okay so until some specific reduction until uh, so, means even this system is also has to maintain it has to increase or decrease because every system has to be synchronized only the master ha uh, f that is not the fixed master clock is also not the fixed so all the systems need to be communicate with each other and every system has to be maintained it may increase or it decrease along with the server also the time demos time uh, must be set manually by the operator periodically so see here in this example let's take this is one second third so the time demon ask all other machines for their clock values so this this all systems are connected in network now this system is asking the time demo ask all other machines so it is asking this system and this system for their clock values so it is saying what is your clock value mine is three o'clock and this is saying to another system what is your system clock minus three o'clock so sending the message like minus three o'clock okay so this system time is three o'clock now the machine answers so now the machine is each machine is answering it's saying that minus 250 that means it's just sending minus 10 so when compared to your system mine is minus 10 so it is obviously understand three three in three o'clock if you take it as minus 10 means it's nothing but 250 so it is also sending the message like plus 25 so plus 25 the this system thinks okay it is plus 25 means the time is 325 okay so now the time demo, uh, demo tells everyone how to adjust the clock now it is saying because this is acting as a master uh, this system has to maintain all the systems along with this in synchronous now it is saying that we have to adjust the clock because one is three o'clock another is 250 another is 325 all systems are having different time clocks so we have to maintain a synchronous clock how see here so now uh, along with the system it is saying that with own the system you have to maintain plus 5 
so it's maintaining its time as 3 phi so this system if it has to maintain 3 phi means it has to add plus 15 plus 15 and it has to do minus 20 so then all the systems are in same time 3 phi 3 phi 3 phi so, this is about the Berkeley's algorithm. So, one system is asking all other machines what is their clock values and these machines are responding with their clock values. After that, it is asking that we have to maintain, adjust our own clocks. Everyone uh, tells how to adjust also just by saying you have to make yourself as a plus 5, plus 15 and minus 20 so that you can maintain the clock. So at 3 o'clock, time demo tells all other machines that it's time and ask for this. So the response, response with how far ahead or behind the time domain that are, by saying you are plus 5 and you are in minus 15 like that. The ti time domain computes the average and tells each machine how to adjust its clock also. Okay, so this is about the Berkeley's algorithm. That is a physical clock. Thank you.